fame and speaking of fame dan and dave are here dan and dave dan and dave that's all we've heard all over town that's of course dan o'brien and dave johnson they won't be in their specialty event the decathlon however they will be competing in some of the individual events that make up the decathlon and joining us for our coverage carol lewis Thanks, Craig. You know, joining me is uh, Dan O'Brien, one of the world's greatest athletes, and it was pretty tough to catch up with you, but I was lucky. Well, thanks, Carol. I'm just happy to be here. You know, we had, a, we had an exciting morning with a bunch of little kids and everything, and uh, I just want to get warmed up, you know, and uh, see, uh, see what I can do today. Well, you're doing the 110-meter hurdles and the long jump. What are you looking forward to? Well, this is my first big test outdoors. I have, I've ran the high hurdles outdoors, but I haven't long jumped yet, so I'm really going to see where I'm at. You know, if I can, if I can get a, you know, 26 or better jump, I'll be happy with that because, you know, that's what I'm looking for in a decathlon. And, and I'm just looking to break through that 13.8, 13.9 uh, time in the high hurdles. And, and uh, I think, you know, with the field today and, uh, and the track as fast as it is, I think I can do that as well. Well, most of the decathletes do a decathlon before the Olympic trials. I understand that the decathlon at the Olympic trials is your first one. Um, why are you doing that? Well, last year, that's what I did. I, I didn't complete a decathlon before the TACs last year. And, and I just felt a, a lot fresher when I got to the, when I got to the uh, American Nationals last year. And, and we're just, you know, trying to stick to last year's schedule. Well, good luck, and uh, we'll watch you out there today. All right, thanks, mm -hmm. Joe. When you mention Moscow, what automatically comes to mind is the Russian city of over 10 million people. But did you know there's also a Moscow here in the United States? It's situated on the Washington-Idaho border with a population of less than 90,000. In a previous era, this town was known as Hog Heaven. But for the world's best decathlete, Dan O'Brien, Moscow, Idaho, is just plain heaven. look at Moscow you look at my personality I think it's quiet it's mellow uh, but you know when the homecoming when the homecoming games in town it's it's lively and it's happening and and it's exciting at the same time you know I don't get distracted by you know uh, a big city a lot of people coming out and watching my practices uh, a beach available to just you know go have fun anytime and, and things like that I think Mike Keller did a, a great deal in helping him uh, change his ways and, and getting him doing the things that were going to make him a productive citizen and, and certainly a, a tremendous athlete that he is. Both Mike and I have the attitude that hard work's going to win out. Dan always talks about his lowest time of his life when he spent uh, here at Idaho on a snowy Christmas day by himself after he'd been on kind of a party time and uh, came back and asked me for a second chance but you know if I totaled them all up it would probably have been about seven or eight chances up to that point and so and we had a couple other other chances after that back in the early late 80s I guess it was. My past has been well documented and a lot of people know what happened and and now you know I'm a, just a different person. My friends my friends realize that I've got a one track mind which is you know Barcelona and and uh, they don't even ask me if I want to go play golf or, or go have a beer with them anymore because they know that if I've got an early morning or, or things to do that, you know, it's just out of the question at this point. Adversity is nothing new in Dan's life. The latest obstacle is the stress reaction in his right tibia, which has kept him off the track for the last month. Team O'Brien has access to the most sophisticated technology, which includes a microcurrent machine. When the injury was first diagnosed and they, and they told me that it was a stress fracture, I was, I was very concerned because the pain at that time, I was unable to run and uh, even jump so we missed a lot of practices because of it but now the pain is totally gone and I really feel almost more fit now than I've ever felt in my life and I think you know as soon as I step on the track uh, my fitness will show through. The United States has a rich decathlon tradition. Ten Americans have won an Olympic competition including such legends as Jim Thorpe, Bob Mathias, Rayford Johnson, Bill Toomey and Bruce Jenner who was the last U.S. decathlon gold medalist. Dan is ready in himself to be a successor to the American pantheon of decathlon champions. Still a virtual novice to the event, he last year smashed Jenner's American record while winning the gold medal at the World Championships in Tokyo. Dan won the decathlon at the World Track and Field Championships. 
like Dave won the decathlon at the Goodwill Games. This summer, they'll battle it out in Barcelona for the title of world's greatest. Mine, 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 mine. The public likes me better. I'm better looking. That's good. Anytime. We've gotten to know each other that much better. Uh, we've become better friends, I think. We're going through the same things, Booker. basically the same pressures, the and same... Uh, the they same expectations are on both of us, so we kind of help each out Three, with uh, those expectations and put each other at ease. Uh, without Dan, it'd be a lot harder out there, and I think without me, it'd be harder for Dan. My goal is an Olympic gold medal, and that's a lot of pressure. So I don't, I don't think that the Reebok commercials or the public, uh, or what the public demands, uh, the public pressures. Uh, are any more than than what I'm striving to achieve myself. I put a lot of pressure on myself to, you know, have the best performance that I possibly can, and so do my coaches. So, so I think those outside pressures are very minuscule compared to you know what we're trying to achieve ourselves. You know, Dan O'Brien's story is the kind that you love to see in sports. Hopefully, he'll top everyone by taking a gold medal in the Olympics.